We're learning more tonight about the woman who died after finishing a half marathon in Pennsylvania. Lindsay Doherty grew up in Holden and graduated from the College of the Holy Cross. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us live now with the story. Brittany. Olivia, the results of her autopsy were released today and show Doherty died of an internal abdominal hemorrhage. Those who knew her in Central Mass say it's a tragedy no one could have predicted. We'll miss her. We'll miss her a lot. Michael Angelini remembers Lindsay Doherty as a smart and kind-hearted woman who was taken away too soon. The 36-year-old Holy Cross graduate and Holden native collapsed after finishing a half marathon in Scranton, Pennsylvania Sunday and later died at the hospital. The total package. Lindsay always came here with a smile on her face. She had verve and vitality. Angelini was partners with Doherty's father and says she would visit him often at work. I have many fond memories of Lindsay coming here to visit her dad and uh, steal some candy out of the candy machine in the, in the uh, front hall. Doherty went to Wachusett Regional High School and was on the track team. Her former coach, Brian Wallace, says she was a passionate runner. This is why, again, this is so ridiculously difficult because every single time you were in her presence, he had a smile to greet you. Angelini recently spoke to her father, Vincent O'Rourke, and says as imagined, it's a tough time for the family. It's a huge and horrible time for the family. I can't think of anything more difficult for any family to endure than this. Doherty leaves behind her husband, whom she met at Holy Cross, and her three young children. One of the most wonderful mothers you could have ever possibly done. My wife pulled out her Christmas card, showing her and her beautiful children, and it's... Uh, it makes you cry to look at it. Now, Holy Cross sent us a statement saying, quote, during her time at Holy Cross, Lindsay Doherty was a bright, generous student leader who was very active at Holy Cross and in Worcester communities. Our thoughts and prayers are with her family, especially her father, Vincent O'Rourke, who was a member of the class of 1969 and a longtime employee of Holy Cross. Olivia. All right, Brittany, thank you.